So the simplest way to begin, I think it makes sense to just start building a base and we can talk about things as we uh, progress. So if you go to play online, most of the games you play are going to be multiplayer and they're going to be T1 games, which is the lowest technology level where you start with nothing. So in those games, I would suggest starting with uh, depending on how many people, you're going to want to start with a couple research facilities. Uh, in this game, we can start with two. Okay. So select your truck, select your trucks, uh, hit on the, hit the build button, select the research facility, place it, click. Okay. Uh, if you hold down the control button, you can tell them to, you can tell them to do multiple things at one time. Click on the research building or click on the research tab. See it's flashing there. Uh, now you can research something. So. All three of these are important. The things that I would research first are the engineering and the sensor turret. Uh, let's start with the sensor turret and yeah, so I have two research, so we'll research both of those. I would also suggest starting with a couple factories. All right, so a couple research, a couple factories. Uh, this is going to be a very general build order uh, to get your base started. Um, you, know, you can tweak it here and there, but the main thing that you want to do is start researching start making start making trucks and then after you have those two things established then start making your power your oil derricks and your power generators and once you have some of that going on then you're going to going to want to start building tanks okay but the whole time you got to be researching it's really important so don't stop researching so once you make a factory you can click on the factory or you can click on the factory button down the bottom and you can tell it to make a truck or two or three Okay, so we'll tell each one to make three. Um, I might cover this later using factories. I might cover it now. Uh, basically, you can tell them to make infinite of a unit by right clicking, and it turns into, into a sideways eight, which is the symbol for infinity. So it'll make trucks, uh, you know, until you reach the maximum amount of trucks allowed, which is 15. Okay, so uh, it looks like our research is done on one of our things. The, the button was flashing. So let's research the sensor tower. Uh, the sensor tower is important uh, for gaining information, but it's really important because it leads to the command center, and the command center leads to other important things, really important things. So prioritize the sensor tower, okay? Um, all these are important. Uh, we can do the fuel injection engine. Okay, so we have two research, two factories. Um, we go to headquarters using the control key here, and then we can start with the power generators. Most maps you play will have 40 oils, so you need 10 uh, power generators. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Is that right? Yeah, ten. Okay. So now that the headquarters is built, we have our map. Okay, uh, and we can tell our trucks to start making oil because we're going to run out soon if we don't start producing oil. So you can see the oil down in the bottom, we have 248. Okay, so control button, tell your trucks to make a whole line of stuff. And you don't have to select oil derrick out of the menu, you can just grab a truck and then hover over the oil derrick and it'll automatically figure out what you want it to do. Okay, so we have both of our factories, oh, we should have both of our factories making trucks infinitely. So that way we make as many trucks as possible. Uh, and so the sensor tower finished, and now we can research the command relay post. Um, so we should have more than two research. You want to be using all of your research all the time. So it's important to get those going. Okay, so we can see our power generators are working. They have the little balls of energy at the top. And we can see our oil derricks are pumping. They're moving up and down. Uh, if your oil derricks aren't moving, that means that they need a power generator. And if your power generator isn't full, doesn't have four balls, that means that it needs more oil derricks. Okay, so it's an easy way to check that everything's working properly. Okay, so uh, we want to research the power module. We're going to want to research all this stuff. We want half track, we want to upgrade our engines, we want to uh, get mini rocket pods. We need all that. So we want to keep building these research too. Okay, so we have a couple different things going on. We have trucks being built by the factories. Uh, we're getting attacked, so we need to make some tanks. So let's go over that. 
Mega tank. It's the bottom button here. Select the green thing. Select the body. Select your propulsion type. And we haven't researched machine guns yet, so we can't make anything. So we need to research machine gun. Right, luckily, that doesn't take very long. So now the machine gun's finished. Research some more machine guns. Let's design the tanks before we die. And make a bunch of tanks. Alright, so now these factories are going to produce tanks infinitely. Luckily, the machine guns are not very strong. <laughs> so, we have time. So, research module, very important. So, research that. Research some tracks. We have all of our oils built. Nice, nice. All right, tanks, get to work. All right, research the side work factory. Research some more engine stuff. All right, so this is just basic uh, base building. The next part that's going to come along is you're going to have upgrades. So we researched, let me show it. How do I show the research? I guess I can't. Is it this? Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, once you research the power module, then you can build the power module. So you just select trucks and then click on it and you can build power modules. I'm holding control, so uh, they'll go in, in order and uh, uh, we don't have the research module yet. It's still researching. We have 15 seconds or so left on the research module. Okay, so building the power modules. Normally you want your trucks to work in smaller groups. So see how I have a bunch of trucks in one group. Uh, sometimes the trucks can't reach. So you see this truck in the back? He can't reach because all the other guys are in the way. So you wanna, generally I like to use pair or groups of three, um, any more than three and they start getting in each other's way. Okay, so groups of three are good. Groups of four are good, but sometimes one won't be able to reach. So groups of three is optimal. Uh, so our repair, or our, sorry, I'm sorry, our research is finished. I'm just researching other important things. Okay. So let's have our guys do our repair facilities. And it's the same idea as the, the power generators and also the factory uh, upgrades. So, you know, you just select trucks and then highlight and then just click on on them and then it'll automatically uh, do it. You don't have to select, you know, you don't have to like select the research module and then like place it. You don't have to do that. All right, so we're finishing our power modules. We are finishing our research modules. Once the research module is done, then we should get the factory module. Okay, so, or no, I'm sorry. What needs to finish? Oh, once the cyborg factory? Yeah, once the cyborg factory finishes, then you get the factory module. Okay, so that's gonna take a minute and a half to research. So uh, I might just cut ahead because there's not gonna be a whole lot going on. So uh, to the factory module. All right guys, so the factory module has uh, finished being researched, so I'm building it now. Uh, once you get the factory module, you can research uh, the Cobra body, and once you build it, then you can produce um, medium and heavy uh, bodies. So the way it works is that there's three steps. There's F1, F2, F3, and F1 can only build light bodies, F2 can build light and medium bodies, and F3 can build light, medium, and heavy bodies. Okay, so you're going to want to upgrade all of your, your factories to F3. And um, so let's just go, go into designing, right? So we can see the Cobra body. We can see half track or wheels. And then we can see the different weapons, okay? So uh, once you have a, uh, a thing built, uh, I'm sorry, once you have a unit designed, then you can go in and you can tell your factories to build it, okay? So if you look, this one's only F1. It hasn't been upgraded yet. I could only produce the light. But 
once it's upgraded, so this other factory, or this one here, so I click on it, I can build the medium body, okay? I haven't unlocked heavy, or else that would be in there too, okay? Uh, I've also built machine gun, or I'm, I'm sorry, I've also built cyborg factories, and so, uh, you know, you can build a mechanic, a combat engineer, or as you unlock different uh, technologies, those uh, cyborgs will be in here as well. So right now I just have machines, uh, machine guns. Okay, so now we have all of our factories working. They're all building tanks. Got a pretty good army. Uh, and so this is pretty much a completed base. There's, you know, you can build defenses, or if you're, play if you're playing with airplanes, VTOLs, VTOLs. Uh, you can build, you know, those factories and recharge uh, pads and stuff like that. But in most games, this is going to be your general setup. Okay, you're going to have five factories, five cyborg factories, five research that you want to keep busy all the time. So don't don't be like me. Okay. Anyway, um, and then ten power generators and forty oil derricks. So while we're here, we should talk about what not to do when building your base. Okay. Don't let your trucks be idle. Always be using your trucks, okay? Use the control key. Keep them busy. Break them up into groups, preferably groups of three or four. Another thing that players do a lot of the time is they immediately start building their oil production, which is a good idea, but it's not the best thing you could be doing with your time. You want to start researching and building factories to build more trucks. Think of it as like an exponential curve, right? The more trucks you have, the more stuff you can build, the faster you get going, okay? So having factories early and having research early are very, very important. So start with those, okay? At the same time, you don't want to run out of power. So make sure that, you know, while you're building trucks and factories and research and all that stuff, um, you know, you, you do start building oils and power generators, but uh, generally, you know, you want to do it after your research and your factories, okay? So I like to do two factories, I'm sorry, I like to do two research, two factories, my HQ, and then start building power, okay? So try following that and, you know, it should be a good place for you to start.